Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. I'm a beauty consultant who loves to talk about everything dealing with beauty and makeup and today I know I just put up a review of, where is it? The Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. But a few of you guys were like, I wonder how it compares to the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. So we had to go ahead and do a comparison. I'm excited about this video because I love foundation comparisons and both of these are exceptionally great foundations. I really want to see which one's better. So real quick, pause the video and tell me which side do you think looks better? Is it this side over here? We can call this comment right side looks better or do you think the left side looks better? Comment now because I want to hear what you guys think before you realize which one is which. Okay, so just like with any of my foundations, we're going to be doing full day wear tests, at least eight hours of wear, showing what it, showing you what it looks like in natural lighting, studio lighting, outside, and flash photography. And then of course at the end of the video, I'll be sharing with you my thoughts, what I think of the products, and who I think both of these foundations will work best for. So stay tuned for all of that. Oh, and before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You're going to love the content because we make great content over here. All right, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. So starting off with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This does come in 36 shades. I do wear the shade Cadiz. Cadiz is going to be for medium deep with neutral undertones and it does have a golden hue to it. And this is going to come in one ounce or 30 mils of product. I have already done a full day wear test on this foundation. So if you'd like to watch that, you can do, go ahead and do that or you could just sit here and continue watching this one. So quick highlights about this one. This is gonna be an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that will quickly blur and smooth while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. This foundation is very long wearing. I think it gives a nice natural radiant finish to the skin. So putting this on the skin just by itself, oh my gosh. The way that light bounces off of this foundation is so stunning. The skin looks so blurred it looks so healthy and even though this does provide good solid medium coverage to what i would say medium full coverage it doesn't look cakey and like too much on the face it's just a beautiful formulated foundation and for this to have skincare in it at least for my skin i do not find that it's going to irritate my skin or kind of counteract the benefits of having the skincare in the foundation it works really great with my foundations Definitely one of my favorite foundations of the year. I did rank all of my favorite foundations of this entire year, and I think I put this at like 1.5. <laughs> if you saw that video, then you understand why I'm giving this like a 1.5, but like it ranked very high on my list. So I love this foundation. I can't say another great things about it. Just to highlight some of the skincare benefits in it, it has biomimetic oat in it. That's gonna visibly improve the clarity by reducing redness. It has Japanese lily, lily turf that's supposed to support a strong skin barrier and also help to maintain moisture. And then it has cacao peptides with milk thistle. This is gonna minimize the negative effect of blue light and environmental stressors. Now moving on to the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I have the shade 17 in. This foundation does come in 30 flexible shades, so that means that one shade could potentially work for multiple complexions. We also get one full ounce or 30 milliliters of product. Just did a full day wear test on this one. So some high points about this foundation is that it's going to be long wearing, very blendable, customizable coverage, so anywhere from sheer to medium coverage. It's going to have a luminous finish and also it's a breathe breathable foundation, I almost forgot. This foundation is quite lightweight on the skin and just from the wear test that I did before, I think we get a good amount of lasting power for the foundation. So I had it on for a little over eight hours and I felt like for eight hours of wear, it still looked really nice on the skin. I would say just right off the back that the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation is, is going to provide more coverage than the Makeup by Mario. When you saw me apply this foundation today, I definitely put on more foundation so I could match the coverage because I knew that the NARS was gonna have more coverage because the formula is a little thicker. So just to show you what I mean by that. So here is the NARS foundation, make sure, yeah. This is the NARS foundation and then this is the Makeup by Mario. You can definitely see the difference in tone 
So I feel like the NARS foundation is gonna pull a little more um, peachy, definitely see more of a golden hue. The Makeup by Mario foundation, in my opinion, is gonna pull a little more neutral um, than the NARS one. And then I feel like in terms of formula, now on my face, I felt like the NARS felt a little thicker, but looking at the swatch, the Makeup by Mario, looks thicker it's not as runny as the nars is even though the nars is not like running down my hand um but even still i feel like the nars gives me more coverage right off the back than makeup by mario um both of these were just one pump so you can see that with the nars foundation you get less in one pump of it compared to makeup by mario um but like i said looking at it on the skin once you begin to blend it out, you can blend, um, the Makeup by, by Mario foundation does blend out more sheer than the NARS foundation. So I don't think that's anything wrong with either of the foundations. It's just what I've noticed with working with both of them. When I first applied both of them to the face, immediately I saw the difference in shade between the NARS foundation and the Makeup by Mario foundation. And I don't think either shade looked horrible on the skin. Um, the NARS foundation definitely was a little more deep on my skin, whereas the Makeup by Mario foundation pulled more, more neutral. Like, I could see the neutral tone much more with it compared to the NARS foundation. However, as of right now, I feel like with adding concealer, a little bit of powder, we blended out both sides pretty well. When I took this in natural lighting, I thought both sides looked really beautiful, but I felt like I saw more light bouncing off the NARS side. I'd love to hear your comments down below what you thought, you know, which one looked like it was more light reflecting, more luminous. And then taking it outside, I felt the same way. I felt like the NARS side just like light just bounced off it a little bit more whereas the makeup by mario had more of like a lit from within glow to it so obviously didn't look dull at all compared to the nars but it was just a difference in like reflection i felt like nars really reflected light and the makeup by mario provided more of a luminous glow taking them both under flash photography both sides look amazing and i'm so sorry i forgot to do the flash photography test before I apply concealer and powder so you're seeing my face completely done um, but both of them look great there's never any flashback with either of these foundations so you can feel comfortable wearing them in the day or at night now looking at the foundations now we've had both of them both of them on for about two hours and I can't decide at this point I asked my husband I was like which side of my face looks better to you and he's like looks like the same foundation to me and I was just like okay I'm looking at it, so I definitely see more of a blurred effect on the NARS side. And let me come in close so that you can see what I'm talking about too. So I feel like there's more blurring of my pores right here on the NARS side compared to the Makeup by Mario. And I feel just overall NARS just looks a little more smooth, just a little more smooth. I did add concealer and powder, so I went in with my Backstage Concealer in shade 3W, Evolution Powder. Um, in shade 01 and that's what I used for my concealer and powder. No highlight is on my face. I did go in with a matte bronzer by LIS Beauty and then a Chanel blush. Um, and I don't feel like digging it back out, but it's, a, it's more of like a matte type blush. I didn't want to add anything luminous to my face if I could avoid it. So looking at my face now, I feel like NARS just looks a little more smooth, but the Makeup by Mario is still really beautiful in my opinion. Um, I do feel like right along here, just a little, like right along, along here, it looks a little more ashy, if you will. Can you see what I'm talking about? Like right along here compared to this side of my face. And I'm obviously going to attribute that to the differences in shade. In terms of shade, like looking at them side by side, I do like the NARS side better because I feel like there's just a little more warmth there. Um, and this side of my face with the, with the makeup by Mario looks a little, I don't wanna say ashy, like I don't look casket ready, but it just looks a little lighter. So like compared to the two, it looks a little different. Um, but in terms of like luminosity and overall finish, I still think both of them look really pretty. So we're gonna have to like wear these out, like wear them throughout the day, figure out which one lasts longer, looks better at the end of the day. Um, I think I mentioned this, but maybe I didn't. I didn't put on a primer today. 
outside of just my normal skincare. And then like I told you, there's no highlight. So we, we went with some very basic makeup, basic, basic makeup look today. So we could really let the foundations show through and show what they can do. So let me go about my day and then I will check back in at the end of the day to share with you my final thoughts. So stay tuned. Okay, so we are back. It is the end of the day and I've had both of these foundations on for over nine hours. So let's come in close and see what we're looking okay, so remember we have the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation on this side of the face and we have the Mario Cyril Skin on this side of the face. Let me just say, this was a tough one because let me just highlight the good before we get into the constructive criticism, okay? So starting off with NARS, like literally holds up to every claim that is out there. Solid medium coverage, blurs and smooths the skin. Over nine hours later, I feel like this side of my face just looks so perfected and blurred and smooth. Like I mentioned before, I didn't put a primer on to um, address my pores or anything like that. And it just looks silky smooth on this side of the face. This particular shade does not oxidize in my opinion. So I feel like the shade that we saw in the beginning of the day is the shade that we see now. And for this to be more of a natural finish, kind of light reflecting type of foundation, I have hardly any type of dew forming over nine hours later. Later, This is a very long wearing formula. I've just got like the hintest of dew right there, but like, I don't even count that. It doesn't bother me, so that's why I mean like, I don't even count it. This side of my face, we could keep going like another four plus hours. I didn't touch up today. I am getting over a cold, so if you see any redness, I mean, I have been blowing my nose, so don't pay attention to my nose. But like, just all over here, blush, bronze are still intact. I mean, I've got some breakouts. Everything just looks beautiful on this side of the face, okay? Makeup by Mario. Now let's not sleep on Makeup by Mario because we're still looking really good as well. I think this side of the face looks more like my skin. Like, you, it's not as perfected as the NARS side. Looking up close, I do see a little bit more of my pores than I do see on the NARS side, but I still feel like this side looks really pretty. It looks like my skin, but better. And that's what I said in my initial review of the Makeup by Mario foundation, that based on what Mario said, based on what the claims were uh, claiming, we're not looking to be the most blurring and the most perfecting foundation. We're just trying to take your skin and make it look its healthiest and its most luminous. And I think with the Makeup by Mario side, we are getting that. This side also held on very well throughout the day. And that is one of the claims of this foundation that it's going to be quite long wearing. It also says that the formula is going to be hydrating and it's going to, um, help the skin look luminous throughout the day. So I feel like this foundation held up really well. I remember in my first review of the foundation, I wasn't sure how it was gonna look eight plus hours or more than eight hours. And so being that I've had this foundation on for more than uh, eight hours, it's still holding up very strong. We still see blush and bronzer on this side. And I think once again, the claims of the Mario foundation, I think hold up just as well. Um, now, in terms of its luminosity, I do feel like I have a little less luminosity on this side of my face compared to my first video. And I think the reason why is because I use more powder today than I did in my previous review. So with that said, I do feel like this. If you have combination skin and oilier skin, if you go in with the mattifying primer, you go in with your powders and really set the face, you might really still enjoy this foundation because I do feel like we can still see some like luminosity on this side of the face. It's just not a lot, not as much as when I first reviewed this foundation. However, I am gonna throw this in here. I feel like this foundation is made to help the skin look luminous. That is one of the biggest takeaways of this foundation. And I feel like using more powder, I don't like the finish as much as I liked it when I used less powder. So when I used less powder, I did have a little more, if I could say radiance, a little more luminosity coming through. I didn't look oily and greasy, but I definitely had more like luminosity to the skin. I feel like my skin just looks a little more slightly drier, just 
ever so slightly drier and I'm going to attribute it to the powder. So I feel like this foundation needs to be worn the way it's marketed to do. So it's supposed to leave the skin looking more luminous and I think you can set your face with powder but just very lightly. So like today I went in with the Rose and Bend, just to give you an example, I went in with the Rose and Bend Puff and I really pressed the powder into the skin and it looks great on the NARS side but I feel like it took a little bit away from the Makeup by Mario. So with that said, I'm still gonna hold to my initial claims that I think the Makeup by Mario foundation will work better for individuals who have normal to dry skin because they may not even need to set the foundation or they may not need to set the foundation a lot compared to someone who has oilier skin. I hope that makes sense. By all means, if you have combination to oily skin and you want to try this foundation, give it a try because it's beautiful. But you all know I try to be as just, you know, as thorough as I can with my thoughts and what I think who and the foundations would work for. So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Um, but I think this foundation looks better with less powder. And it, at least for me with my more normal skin, I like it a lot better with less powder than I do today. I feel like we just look a little more, just a little bit more dry than I would like. I would also mention as some highlights with this foundation, this formula is extremely lightweight. And I also feel like that this formula is hydrating to the skin. So once again, when I use this foundation, very light powder for me so I can really let it shine through. With the NARS foundation, I feel like this is also a very lightweight formula um, for it also to have more blurring and smoothing effects to it. And in terms of the hydration, definitely doesn't make my face feel tight and dry. Um, I don't, I wouldn't say that this is a hydrating formula, but it definitely doesn't make my skin feel tight and dry. So wanted to point that out and you know, hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying about the two. Um, so I definitely feel like we've got some really strong claims for both of these foundations and it really comes down to just what will work best for you and your preferences. This side of my face I feel looks more natural like, this side of the face I feel looks more perfected, more blurred. So in terms of like constructive criticism and things like that, for me, I feel like the NARS side does look better in terms of it's just looking more blurred, more smooth, texture is not going to be as emphasized. Whereas the Makeup by Mario side looks more natural and skin light, so it is less perfected. However, I do not feel like this side of my face looks horrible at all. I think it actually looks really beautiful and pretty. It just looks more natural compared to a more smoother, blurred side. Does that make sense? I don't want you all to think like, oh, the Makeup by Mario lost and it's horrible, no. It almost was an unfair battle, if I'm being honest, because NARS came out the gate saying, you're gonna look more blurred, your skin's gonna look more smooth, and light's gonna bounce off of it. Makeup by Mario was like, hey, I'ma just make your skin look like your skin, but better, and it's gonna look more luminous and healthy and more hydrated. So the claims were not identical, but there was you know, similarity enough to where it was like, let's see and do a comparison. Now, in terms of who I think either of these foundations can work for, I still hold true that I think the Makeup by Mario foundation will work better for people who have normal to dry skin because if you don't set this with powder, um, and if you also have more oily skin, you're probably going to produce more oils, more luminosity than you want, and you may not like all of that luminosity. The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, I do feel like more skin types actually could wear this one, including combination to potentially oily, because there is more light reflecting properties in this foundation that are going to keep the skin hydrated and also allow for light to reflect off of it, but it's not going to be properties in it that are going to make the skin a little bit more dewy or a little bit more luminous. There's a difference between luminosity and then light reflecting, and that's what NARS does. So I think this foundation actually could work for people who have anywhere from dry to oily skin. And of course, you know, I would still say abide by what you know your skin needs. So if you know I've got oily skin, go in with your mattifying primers, definitely set this foundation. If you have drier skin, go in with your hydrating primers. Maybe don't set it depending on how dry your skin is. But this one, 
people love it because it's amazing like it is truly amazing so in this particular wear test in terms of just which foundation looked better nine plus hours later i'm going to give it to nars because i love the blurred effect i love how smooth this side looks and this was just definitely one of my favorites. However, I'm so looking forward to continuing to wear the Makeup by Mario foundation because it is beautiful as well. And when I want more of that natural type of look, I want to throw something on my face and be out the door, I'm going to reach for Makeup by Mario. The NARS is the one that I'm going to reach for when I want my skin to look more perfected, maybe night out on the town. Like, I want to glam it up a little bit more. So, I think both of these are winners, but it all depends on what you're looking for, what you're going for. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Let me know which side you think looks better. NARS Light Reflecting, Makeup by Mario. And let me know which foundation you think you would like better. Because, you know, some people don't want all the coverage that NARS might provide. The Makeup by Mario might be what you're looking for. So let me know your preferences, your thoughts, all of that down below. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.